You have a sweet tooth? Well, then you'll want to catch up with Cassidy this afternoon. Yeah, today she is decorating some sweet treats from the folks at Kyra's Bake Shop, and it's all for a good cause. Cassidy, tell us about it. Okay, look how beautiful these cookies are. Kira has done these just during the couple short little teases that you've seen us do throughout the show. So this is Kira Busanich of Kira's Bake Shop in Lake Oswego. By the way, guys, um, if you're counting, she's won Cupcake Wars four times. The only person who's ever won Cupcake Wars four times. We also have Bryce and Harper, some sixth graders who are you guys ready to decorate some cookies? Because this Sunday at Kira's Bake Shop in Lake Oswego, you can decorate cookies with your kids. It's called the Mini and Me Cookie Decorating Class. I guess we should start decorating while we chat or I'm just going to get distracted and it's not going to be very beautiful. So Kira, the, yeah. if this wasn't enough to decorate cookies, eat the cookies, hang out with your kids, it's also for a really good cause, right? It, it is. We're donating all of the profit, pro profits from this class to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Oh gosh, I, I was listening to you and then I just froze and, and <laughs> I haven't even done anything. Guys, what are your decorations on uh, your cookies so far? What's your inspiration? What's your idea? Um, I think I'm gonna do kind of like an abstract cookie. Ooh, cool. okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a bunch of shapes and colors. You Perfect. could do a rainbow too, yeah. oh, with all the colors that ooh. we have. Mm -hmm. And then smear okay. it or not. I feel like I need to start with the, well actually maybe I wanna do this one, but I'm just gonna like switch the end of it. So you said the proceeds go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Yes. And how can people sign up? Who should sign up? Can they be any age? Any age. Uh, the cookie decorating class, which is this Sunday, is more geared towards younger kids. So I would say three to 10 maybe. Um, and it's for parents and child. And then we have another one on April 28th, which is geared towards older kids like these girls here. And that's gonna be cupcake decorating. Ooh. And they can sign up either on our website or they can go to mounthoodcure.com. Now, of course, you have had a lot of experience decorating cookies and cupcakes, and everything in your shop is all gluten-free, right? 100%. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, how do you do that beautiful mosaic thing you have done <laughs> on your cookie? I just put dollops of different colors all over and then gently smear it, and it looks kind of unicorny, which I really like. Now, of course, the best thing, though, is that no matter what your cookie looks like, you just get to eat it at the end, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, we've got a smiley face over here. <laughs> we've got some more exciting shapes happening over here for Harper. And then the sprinkles. I don't know what's happening over here on mine. This Do might just have sprinkles? to turn into a, a little mosaic thing at the end. I think so. Kira, right. any tips? If anyone is uh, you know, decorating some spring cookies at home, any tips you, you have for people that they should should try to do? Yes, <laughs> make sure that the frosting is room temperature because oh. if it's cold, it's really hard to squeeze out and it's hard to spread and it can tear the cookies. Wow, okay, and mm -hmm. then also, um, you know, I think you did have some gloves that I should have put on because <laughs> my hands are already covered in frosting. Are you guys covered in frosting like me? Not yet. No, they're not yet. Yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe just me. I'm gonna add some pink. And I like that they're all lovely spring colors too, mm -hmm. Kira. So again, this Sunday, mini and me cookie decorating class and the proceeds go to the leukemia and lymphoma society so what nothing is bad at all about that okay i think how do we do on our cookies that looks great Cassie. pretty good did i, I do a good job i think you need some sprinkles oh yes though. some sprinkles definitely bryce and harper those are beautiful oh harper's doing the mosaic thing oh my gosh thank you and of course go to kira's bake shop in lake oswego do we get to eat these now? sure i think we should totally take a bite okay guys cheers cheers happy spring <laughs> beautiful cookies i mean i will totally eat it back to you guys <laughs> Oh, making me so hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought they might just lick their oh, fingers. I was going to say, the more frosting, the better, yeah. right? Wow. <laughs>